Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you a couple of shirts that I did the sublimation to cotton on. Um, I know I had a lot of people ask me how it does on the wash. And this video is a little overdue, but I'm finally getting around to it. This is the very first shirt that I did a couple years ago. And if you notice where it's peeling, it's because I was new to the process. And when I placed it down, I picked it up. And I mentioned in one of my videos that once you place it down, that's it. There's no turning back because the powder that absorbed the ink is still wet. And it's going to stay wet until you place it and press it. So this is a close-up of where I placed it. I picked it up. I placed it and picked it back up and put it back down. And this is what I got. So since I've been washing it, it's, of course it's going to fade because it's not 100% on there. But where you, you'll see where I did place it correctly, I, di I did try not to move it. I did try not to move it, but I did lift it up and I realized, oh, I can't do that. So that's why this is faded on one side, because I started to pick the paper back up and I realized I can't do that. Now I started at the top and then stopped. So here you can see, um, this is literally, this thing has literally been washed over 50 times. I've had this shirt for uh, for a couple years, and I wear this shirt all the time. So I wanted to show you a close up of how this is how how it does, and it's this shirt is worn, very worn. This is one of my favorite shirts, Helmet of Salvation, and this is again this is the powder process sublimation to cotton. This is a stain, some epoxy. Anyway, so it holds up really good. I wash it inside out in cold or warm. Um, I, I've had it so long, I just throw it in a dryer now um, with whatever heat it's on, it's on. But I don't recommend, you know, high heat for the like the first few washes but this sucker has been in the wash many times again this is where where I put it down and I started to lift it up because it wasn't straight for me it didn't look straight at the time and I started to pick it back up so here's another shirt this is during Hurricane Harvey oh real quick this is a Trying to see. This was a, uh, and this is a 50-50 blend too. And that's how I did on a 50-50 blend. Yeah, just make sure you place it correctly, but other than that, the shirt's old and very worn. Here is a 100% cotton, I think. Yeah, here's a 100% cotton shirt. And I did this one during Hurricane Harvey. I felt like people weren't getting the credit. People from all over this, the country, our state was, I mean, our country was coming from different areas and I, they weren't really getting much recognition at the time. So I was going to, I came up with this design and then I realized I had a typo. There's not supposed to be an apostrophe. Yes, I'm calling myself all out on it. But anyway, I created this and printed it and this shirt I've worn maybe 20 times and the only area that it's that it, that is coming off was is this right here in the gray so other than that this is sublimation to cotton and uh and then here not sure what happened there, but this was my very first print on uh, with these colors. I may have just picked it up or had, I don't know, had some, uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but this is a, uh, I didn't wear this shirt, after, and I don't wear this shirt anymore unless I'm around the house because I'm embarrassed. I don't want anybody to see that there's a typo on there, but anyway, I'm using this this video this shirt to uh show you how it stands or how it fares in the with washability 
So powder powder uh, powder process sublimation to cotton. I recommend it. Highly recommend it. I've been using this for a couple years, if not longer. This is my go-to for 100% cotton whites or lights. So please feel free to comment. If you have any questions, you can call me or text me or email me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.